Hi everyone and thanks for checking out my channel. I'm going to have a look uh, at the market uh, going back to the videos I was making a couple of weeks ago and across um, a few markets just to, um, to check the overall trend because I think last week we could have seen some invalidation of my bearish uh, scenario or not very much bearish but some larger pullback scenario on the major uh, on the stock market and also on other um, markets as we'll see um, as you see we got some development that could act that are actually pointing to a potential move to the bullish side uh, despite all the noise that's making around potential top and reversal but uh, i will give some argument why i believe we have not made a top uh, on the s p 500 that we could actually see much higher price moving forward uh, so starting on the s p 500 so i was trading uh, i was mentioning before that divergence uh, here i'm not really trading but attempting a couple of short positions here i did break quite convincingly and then we've seen that last week uh, quite surprisingly we had a somehow quite a bearish start they got bought back quite aggressively on the 4100 that was quite unexpected as we having that trend line that's supporting at 4000 that could have actually been some um, a retest of that level as we had this uh, before many times it's also the 50 ma that's working very well to support that market but instead we had some major uh, buying pressure building up here and as we can see here it did actually drop straight on the trend line on the rsi that's uh, really that kind of retouch and a bounce strong with a close that's high of the week almost it's very bullish in my opinion and we are now very likely either we're going to set in those divergence and that's quite a fair bit of a move up on the rsi uh, i believe we could actually see 4500 at the end of that swing before we can get some more significant pullback uh, but yeah that's uh, to me um, quite important of course to be watching should we actually start to see next week acceleration to the downside and getting back under that trend line could be a different story we could have pull back to that trend line before resuming a move higher and of course always the option to actually break completely down to the target but honestly now uh, i'm staying away uh, of that market in terms of the trying to short it um, and watching uh, and looking for uh, buying opportunities on uh, many other markets that got more leverage than the s p 500 uh, looking also at the US dollar, that's another uh, reason why um, I turned my bearish view to bullish. We broke a major uh, trend line uh, last week. We got originally uh, almost an evening star here with a rejection at 120. That could have been just on the back of that divergence here on the daily chart, some point or uh, pointing to some direction we would actually keep going down and resume. The trend to the target uh, instead of that we got some significant buying action uh, and set off on the us dollar that did actually break that trend line quite neatly no rejection uh, no selling pressure here that is pointing now for this to continue to the upside uh, where i don't really know because now we are entering some very special time of course we are having uh, 125 that's the target we are having in mind uh, that would also invalidate potentially the divergence we having on the daily chart so it's a very uh, much a big deal uh, here we having on the daily the divergence that's pointing to a correction up to 122 uh, that could be in the end of that move but it would be sitting significantly above the trend line it would be a little bit odd to actually see uh, anything else than potentially pull back before we go actually higher so also pointing to continuation of the market up with a weakening of the us dollar that will also support commodities and that's the reason why uh, i have turned uh, bullish on most of them uh, if we look at gold uh, a little bit unclear on gold but uh, quite we got that move to the upside here uh, starting end of march on some some uncertainty we got in the market uh, and i believe that uncertainty is a little bit uh, gone around the vaccine and all these things we could have got uh, here a false uh, breakout above um, 1770 and now it's been retested so that'd be really key for gold to see how we go but that divergence is not making me comfortable that we would actually go 
up from here and instead uh, we are going to retest uh, 1680 before we do actually resume the move to the downside and go to the target i will not be shorting this uh, as i think it's a little bit uh, risky at that point the signal is relatively solid but doesn't give a really solid target so i will probably pass trying to short it uh, of course the best short entry is definitely sitting uh, here but i'm kind of doubtful we we'll actually get to that level uh no it seems just a bit too far away in the the context of um of the economy bouncing back and uncertainty reducing and the market continuing up um, looking there uh, on copper i think it's much more significant uh, we have seen a major um, move to the upside uh, recently that one is on the four hours um we're starting on the 13. if you look at the court report uh, on copper it's been extremely strong positioning for the managed money in, on the long side um which is um uh, quite interesting given the high price we are in so my opinion is that we are now forming something um that could be seen as a inverted uh, sorry not inverted but uh, a cup here so 435 will definitely be uh, resisting at this point we actually break higher we will get really quickly to 450 uh, but it's kind of unlikely i believe that we're going to break and move that far so um, probably 440 could be the, the sailing here we'll see how we go with the momentum next week if we start consolidating here which is of course a possibility then we could enter that move here make another retest there before we could actually potentially retest uh, 416 but my opinion is that this is very bullish that kind of configuration can potentially explode to the upside quite a lot on the breakout and we can see the target here would sit almost at 480 that's a significant move uh, that's above previous resistance if we actually zoom out well enough I would make an all-time high on copper that is not actually completely impossible or maybe not all-time uh, uh, yes i think i was back so we had some higher price before but might be wrong so yeah the previous peak uh 2011 uh, was roughly 450 so that would be definitely a solid resistance uh, area should we actually break above that level of course then uh, the limit is unknown uh, but we're not there yet uh, looking at the daily chart having the same picture that's quite neat really uh, and definitely pointing to uh, to some significant move to the upside that's also supporting the economy moving up uh, and also the market continuing to the upside crude oil has been quite interesting as well uh, as we can see i was trading the hourly chart as it's usually reacting quite well on it and we've seen some large divergence on that move uh, the first down was quite significant to 62 then we got that drop down to slightly below 61 that was uh, without any momentum uh, and we could see here uh, a pattern that is usually a reversal pattern as well that's a cup and all could be seen also at the uh, head and shoulder pattern but like this and we did actually break out uh, last week above 62 it was quite important uh, and didn't really pull back significantly so we could see some retest uh, on crude oil retesting uh, slightly below 62 before we do actually break higher and i believe at this point a retest of 64 is in the card we're having major support just underneath uh, 61 uh, that is unlikely in my opinion to break um, if we look here bigger picture uh, we could also see something like this it's not being properly tested here but the configuration is looking a bit like this ascending triangle under 66 that could actually be only the start of a much larger move that would take us uh, potentially to 75 uh, that target i believe that was a previous level i don't have it on the chart here that's matching it quite well uh, here and yeah almost perfectly matching this 
75. So, but of course we need to break first 66, then on the way 64. Could be happening, many things could be happening in the same time of course, with some significant pullback, but I believe the target is uh, sound. Uh, I would of course give some really nice profit on long positions. So I've been loading a long position uh, on WTI uh, from that level, I'm standing um, slightly above 61 for the average. And I will be letting that trade go, and except if there's something really special happening. Now, also Bitcoin, um, we having we had a major drop. Um, 18, I think it was over the weekend. It did actually continue uh, during the week until we reach uh, 48. We potentially have a, a bottom here. I was mentioning, I think, in previous video that we were making a top on. Uh, Bitcoin for that reason that we are having that major uh, weekly bearish divergence but that doesn't mean we are going down to the target straight away and we're gonna get some nice pullback uh, on the way uh, if we look here uh, the target of course is much lower but now we are reaching really close to the 20 MA on the weekly that should provide a lot of support at 45 so um, I made the first entry uh, slightly above 50 uh, k okay, and I'm waiting for 45 to actually double that position should we should it not get there then I will just let that trade go uh, if we look at the four hours we have a nice divergence in place in some sort of a falling wedge slightly below that uh, level of uh, support that's been broken um, but as we can see here that's providing a target that is immediately going retesting 60k uh, that would be the first target but uh, I think given the momentum we're having here on the daily the trend line is not running really far away so we've got many uh, a lot of space to move to the upside retracing that move down and pushing potentially up to above 65 66 uh, and then we would be resuming the move to the downside so also bullish I think the risk taker on uh, Bitcoin are not ready to give up um, so we're gonna get really likely another leg to the upside um, could go down to 45 but then there will be a good opportunity to enter a long position if we look at the court report uh, just on crude oil uh, as well that is supporting as I was mentioning before so we're having strong open interest in that move to the upside here uh, we got a little bit of uh, short addition for the managed money which is definitely not bullish but we can see that the swap dealers they are still edging against a higher price uh, we're having uh, some uh, long position liquidation uh, for retail traders that mean um, potentially giving up um, at some point uh, but yes that's not highly bullish um, as we would have expected but still uh, that's a little bit um, the question of when this position has been actually uh, taken given that we got some drop from 64 down to 62 so it could have been the increase of short uh, position reducing of long uh, if we look here as well I think was mentioning copper but just quickly having a look at gold that's kind of balancing between uh, going down or up as we are in the managed money adding long position but they've been wrong in the past uh, we can see the retail traders are actually piling in um, on gold long position they are usually wrong uh, on gold and uh, trading against the trend so we will see it will be an interesting week um, the edges they are definitely uh, protecting against a higher price so it looks rather uh, bullish but uh, I'll be cautious to see how we go next week uh, and should we actually fail to stay above uh, 1770 I will be definitely quite uh, bearish uh, for gold so yeah, that's about it for tonight. Uh, wish you safe trading uh, and I speak to you soon. Cheers, bye.